Uh, hello there, uh, my name is the, uh, DebunkerMan69 here, and today I'm going to be debunking the, uh, Goku vs. Superman, uh, Part 3. Now, as you can see, um, this fight was completely inaccurate and wrong. Uh, the real winner here was Goku, and I am going to be proving with power scaling and, uh, feats on why Goku not only solos, uh, uh, Superman, but, uh, fiction. So, let's, uh, first look at Goku's power level. So, uh, Goku at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super was over here, uh, fighting Beerus. And Beerus, uh, he was, uh, basically, like, the, the strongest guy probably in almost the entire series. And Goku... And him were, uh, Goku when he was in Super Saiyan God, um, when they were fighting, they were going to destroy the entire universe. And, uh, now, at first, this may seem like a, uh, universal level, level of power, but actually, this would be a, uh, little multiversal level of power. Because, uh, the heaven, the afterlife in Dragon Ball is separated by, uh, heaven and hell, which, uh, are stated to transcend all dimensions, and are stated to be, uh, infinite in size. So, if Goku and Beerus were going to destroy the universe, including the afterlife and the realm of the Kyle Shin, this would, uh, uh, put Goku at low multiversal level of power. And over here, Small Fell over here, aka Superman, uh, is over here being weak to some green gem. So, uh, if you look at Goku, Goku is actually able to absorb the power of Super Saiyan God into his base form. Now, if you look at the Daivenshu here, and we'll use the Super Saiyan multipliers, Super Saiyan 1 being a 50 times multiplier, Super Saiyan 2 being a 100 times multiplier, and Super Saiyan 3 being a 400 times multiplier to his base form. Basically, Goku is multiplying his already multiversal level of the power 400 times in Super Saiyan 3, which basically means Goku uh, will be capable of destroying a universe 400 times over, which would be a low multiversal level of power. But that battle is over here lowballing Goku. Now, uh, Goku's power level is a power level of, uh, 40 trillion, because I said so, and if you, I think, I believe Super Saiyan God is a 40,000 times multiplier to his base form, because say, since Super Saiyan God was stated to be stronger than Batara Fusion, so if you, uh, multiply, uh, Goku's power level of 40 trillion by, uh, by, uh, 40,000, that's a, uh, a pretty big number, you know? And then, that's not even including the fact he has other forms on top of that. You have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, which is a 50 times multiplier of the Super Saiyan God. Then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Kyle Ken times 10. And then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Kyle Ken times 20, which multiplies his Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan form by 20 times. And that's not even including the fact he has Ultra Instinct. So why did Goku lose to Superman for a third time when Ultra Instinct is like a hundred times multiplier on top of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken times 20? It's stupid! In the fact that Death Battle refuses to accept that Goku with his power level of, 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 of uh, a hundred trillion solo fiction. Nobody can beat Goku. Goku with his power scaling feats and Super Saiyan transformations scales above Super Freak or whatever his name is. Superman is fodder. Superman is boring. Goku solos because of his Super Saiyan forms. And power levels are still being used to this day. Okay, so 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 it, so, so in conclusion. Goku with uh, the power of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Kyle Ken times 20. On top of that was Ultra Instinct, which has 
several variants. You have Ultra Instinct Sign, Mastered Ultra Instinct, True Ultra Instinct, and and Goku is still getting stronger considering Saiyans have Zenkai boost, which... In, in conclusion, Goku beats Superman in his solo's fiction. Have a good day. Okay, in all actuality, I actually enjoyed this fight. It was really fun to watch. Um... Regardless of how people feel about the matchup having happening a third time, I loved it. I agree with the outcome. The fight itself was amazing. Um, and this video was satire, FYI. Uh, have a good day. See ya.